Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is Friday, April 3rd, and here inside the United States, Samsung is releasing a software update that brings many of the Galaxy S20 features down over into the Galaxy S10 series, as well as the Galaxy Note 10 series. But which features are moving over? So today we will be covering all 10 features that will be a part of this software update. Now my Galaxy S10 and Note 10 does not have the update yet, but I have the full complete list of every feature moving down. So let's move over into the S20 and let's talk about everything that will be brand new with this software update. The first feature that we'll talk about today is a major shooting mode in the Galaxy S20, and that one is called Single Take. Single Take is a way that it's able to take eight seconds of whatever moment you're trying to take a picture or video of, and it actually uses all of its camera sensors to bring back to you multiple different shots. You have videos, you have pictures, you're able to choose which one is your favorite. It also has different filters. It's a really fun way to really capture any moment and I have to say that this moment right there at the trampoline park was actually really fun but one of my favorites was over at Top Golf. now when you see this small little image right there it's kind of a circle with a ring around it that means that that is single take now when you go inside of any of those ones you'd be able to take a look at what was happening so this was the video again it was actually nine seconds instead of eight seconds this one was a hyperlapse of that one this was the best photo but they also placed on a little filter on top and then it just brings you a couple different moments uh, from what you were trying to take a picture of so if you're trying to find pretty much the best image if you want to have a lot of different shots a lot of different angles uh, you can also move around so I was actually standing in place but if I moved around it would have had many more images and another video for me to choose from single take is one of my favorite camera features of the s20 the second feature that moves over was one that I played with a lot on the Galaxy Z Flip, and it is also a part of the Galaxy S20, and that is the nighttime hyperlapse. So with the nighttime hyperlapse, all you'd have to do is make sure you scroll through the bottom and yours might be underneath the more. You can hit on edit and you can bring hyperlapse down. And then once you've saved it and you've moved it into the location you would like, head over into hyperlapse and you have this little icon on the very top. So this is if you wanna have nighttime hyperlapse off. This is if you want nighttime hyperlapse on. And there's actually quite a big difference here. I'll show you a video I did a little bit earlier with the nighttime hyperlapse laps on. The next update is a smaller one and it's already a part of nighttime mode. So what they did was they improved nighttime mode on the S10 series and the Note 10 series to make it comparable to how well nighttime mode works on the Galaxy S20. The next update will be inside of photo and you go to the very top right hand side and you click on filters. Now there's a little category in the middle that is called my filters. It's a way that you're able to create filters from your phone. You can turn any shot into a custom filter, select a sample below to try it out. So let's just go with this one here, hit on next. And so this is filter one. And as you go up, you're able to take a look at what that one looks like. If you're not a fan of what this filter looks like, head right on back. You'd be able to click this one right here, hit on next, show up your camera, take a picture of something just to see what that filter looks like. And when you have a filter that you like, you can go to save filter. And then this way, anytime that you go inside of your filters, you have a my filter, you can go to the original, you can add a new one, and then here is that filter one. And if you don't wanna have it so intense, you can bring it down just a little bit. The next feature that you'll notice a part of the S10 and the Note 10 is Samsung brought back Pro Video. Now I've been super excited to see this. You can change your autofocus, your ISO, the aperture, your brightness, your autofocus if you wanna manually focus it to anything that is far away or macro. So anybody who is in love with Pro Video Video, or if you even shoot your YouTube channel with pro video mode on the Samsung phone, it is back. You can completely just alter any changes you would like. And now you're really right back over into your DSLR camera. 
Now these next three features are ones that are almost kind of hidden. Not many people talked about it. There was one that I've learned personally from reading about this update, uh, but a couple of them I didn't go in depth just yet. I was gonna talk about one of these here in the near future, and that is the ability of going inside of your video mode. And as you hit on record, the flipping of the cameras for front and rear facing stays there. So as you're recording, you're shooting your shots, you're, you're getting uh, whatever you're shooting, and then you need to bring it back and do a little bit of commentation. You're still recording your front facing camera and then maybe something else happened. You flip it right on back inside of the same video you're able to capture with both camera lenses. Now on the S10 and the Note 10 series, this was one thing that was missing and super excited that it is now here with the S10 and the Note 10 as well. These next two features are built inside of the gallery. Now what you want to do is move over inside of where it says pictures. And so on the very top, you'll see four icons. This very first one is called Clean View. So Clean View is the one that we're talking about. As you scroll through, it'll stay there. If you bring this down, it'll also sit there as well. Now, Clean View is a way that it's able to group images together that were either the identical images or they're taken at the same time. So if you remember your parents taking multiple images, 10 pictures of the exact same thing, the exact same time, maybe it's for prom photos, which probably won't be happening right now, but when you hit on that little grouping of images, you'll see that some of the images kind of goes in together. So again, if we go to the very top, you'll notice that I have two uh, images of my electric skateboard. Again, they were taken pretty much at the same time and they're almost identical and then they group them together. And then you'll see that is grouped together with a small little icon. When you go inside, you're able to go through both of them and you can still take a look at both of them without having to have your entire photo screen, you know, be grouped or just cluttered with so many images you can actually group them down into something smaller. This next feature, let's go back inside of the gallery. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you one that is called Quick Crop. So let's say that I wanted to crop this image and I was kind of playing around with it before I went into editing. Now what you're gonna notice is a small icon that pops up right there. And so what's gonna happen here is let's say that I liked this image better, I can hit on this button there and it cropped it for me. Now, as I move on back, you're gonna notice that now there is three images. So this was my original and this is what I just got done cropping. It's something that you know saves you a couple steps and if you were already zoomed in on something and you're like, you know what, this actually kind of looks pretty good, I'm gonna keep this one. So what I can do is if I move in right there, let's say that this was a cropped image I liked, bam already done and that was quick now these last two features that moved over are big sharing features these were things that were loved on the galaxy s20 these were actually the first two things i ever looked at i've covered both of these multiple times so we won't be going in depth but yes quick share and music share is moving over to the s10 and the note 10 series those phones were already really able to do it but it's just put in a different setup and different category. So quick share, just so anybody who doesn't know what it is, it's a way that you're able to share really anything with anybody around you. Uh, you can share it with uh, people that you don't know. You can share it with people that you do know. Uh, so I just have mine set up for everyone. And when you press and hold and you select things that you would like to share, what will happen is inside of your share screen, you're gonna see it pop up with anybody that you can share it with. Now I'll link below a video talking about this more in depth, going over the full review and details, you know, of these two features. So if you want to learn more about quick share and music share, just click the link below the video. Now with music share, this is a way that you're able to share your Bluetooth, you know, connected devices with another person. And both of you can be the DJ at the exact same time. Meaning that if you and a friend are sitting inside of a car and you wanted to control the music, they also want to control the music. You can actually just turn on music share and what's going to happen is they will be able to notice your Bluetooth of your vehicle, connect with it, and now this person, which is person A, is able to hit play on a song and it's going to play through the Bluetooth speaker. Now at any given point in time, person number two would also like to take control of the music. When they hit on play, now yours stopped and then theirs started playing. So you can go back and forth, it's actually really cool. Again, um, I have a video below that is detailed with music share and quick share. So those are the 10 features that is moving from the Galaxy S20 and moving over into the S10 series as well as the Galaxy Note 10 series. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. 
and I'll see you guys later.